Okay, so you can see our title for today is Exchange Rates and Currency Conversion. And this is kind of one thing. So far in the starter, what I've got you to do is to look up various currencies, various types of money that different people around the world use. So first one that you might well have found is dollars, which they use in the United States, and it has a funny symbol like that. Other ones that you might come across are the euros, which have this kind of funny E. Um, we also have in Japan, something like yen. Um, so each of these currencies exist around the world, but they're not all worth the same amount. So if I go to America and I have one pound, it won't um, be exactly the same as one dollar. So the way that we change between the two is called currency conversion. And how many of a currency you get for one pound is called its exchange rate. So in this first example that I'm going to do, which is here, my exchange rate for one pound, I will get one dollar or one point three seven dollars. So for one pound, I get one point three seven dollars. And that's my exchange rate. In different currencies, you'll have a different exchange rate. And I will actually get you to look up some exchange rates in the real world. Um, for your, your second starter um, that you're going to do. So let's use this exchange rate here to do a currency conversion. So if one pound equals $1.37, what would 14 pounds be? Well, here's a handy layout and I want you to lay this out exactly like this every single time because it will keep you right. So I have that one pound goes to $1.37 well, what I've done there is I've times by 1.37 to go from 1 to 1.37. So if I'm taking 14 pounds, um, I want to also times by 1.37. Doing exactly the same to the 14 pounds because that exchange rate describes how we always go from pounds to dollars. So let's do that on our calculator. We are doing 14, which is there times 1.37 so that gives me 19.18 dollars now have a go at this one over here for yourself see how you get on and then i'll run through it in a second so pause the video have a go and i'll run through it in a moment excellent hopefully you paused so let's run through it same layout as we did for the first one so one pound goes to $1.37. So on the top here, we're timesing by 1.37. We want to do the same with eight pounds 50. Well, we're still timesing by 1.37 because that is our exchange rate. So let's clear our calculator, 8.50 no, times 1.37. That gives us 11, Point six. Now I'm going to round it to two decimal places here because um, currency is always two decimal places. So 11.65 dollars and we're done. Okay, so that's just a little example of how to use an exchange rate. I'm going to do a second one showing you another exchange rate. The reason I'm showing you this one is as an example like this in the work you're about to do. Here we're using rubles. Rubles are, uh, you'll also see this written as that word there. They're the same thing. And um, they are the currency used in Russia. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do another conversion. So 15 pounds. But remember, we always write down our exchange rate first. So one pound goes to 104 rubles. Now there's not a nice symbol for rubles particularly. So we're just timesing by 104. So if I take 15 pounds, I'm also timesing that by 104 because that's the exchange rate. Bring in our calculator, 15 times 104 gives us 1,560 rubles. Okay, so there is um, 
a little conversion. Have a go doing a rubles one yourself, and then you can crack on with the questions in a minute. Okay, hopefully you paused. Let's just do this last example here. So layout one pound goes to 104 rubles. So we're timesing by 104 there. So we're doing the same for our 35 pounds. We're timesing by 104. Now we can put that into the calculator. 35 times 104 should get 3,640 rubles. So the key thing is working out how to use our exchange rate and then applying it to the one that we're working with. So have a go at the questions. Um, and then the next video shows you how to work backwards, which is where this layout becomes super important.